seven, six, four, three, two, one, and lift off of Space Shuttle Atlantis. A final visit to enhance the vision of Hubble into the deepest grandeur of our universe. Bypass across the board, scooter, no action. 500 miles per hour approaching staging the burnout of the twin solid rocket boosters which have been burning fuel at a rate of about 11,000 pounds per second. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. We have ignition of the RS-68 main engine. One, zero, and we have liftoff. Liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV rocket carrying the sixth GPS-2F satellite for the United States Air Force. The global positioning system provides worldwide positioning, navigation, and timing services for military and civilian users. You're now hearing the voice of Tim Holt providing launch vehicle ascent data. It's solid motor jettison. We have ignition of the RS-68 engine. Two, one. We have liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV rocket carrying the Ab Space Four mission for the United States Air Force. Good chamber pressure on the main engine. You are hearing the voice of Steve Agat providing launch vehicle ascent data. Good symmetrical burn. 17 seconds in. Back for SEP and separation. Solid rocket motors have successfully separated from the vehicle. One minute fifty seconds in. Ten, nine, eight. Go for main engine start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and zero and. Lift off of Space Shuttle Atlantis, reaching the crest of its historic achievements in space. And Houston Atlantis is in a roll. Roger, roll. Houston is now controlling. The roll maneuver is complete. Atlantis is in a heads down position on course for a 51.6 degree, 136 by 36 statute mile orbit. Coming up on staging, the point at which the twin solid rocket boosters burn out and separate from the orbiter. Booster separation confirmed. The onboard guidance system has done its job of settling out any of the dispersions that have been introduced at the booster separation. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and liftoff of the Cassini spacecraft on a billion mile trek to Saturn. Pitch program is in, roll program is in. We have cleared the tower, and the Cassini spacecraft is on its way to Saturn. T plus 20 seconds. All systems are go. Jupiter Inlet Tracking Station now acquiring data. All systems go. Standing by for separation of the solid rocket boosters.
Okay, Joining the solid sir, rocket boosters have been jettisoned. Item 149 and 5150. Good solid rocket booster separation. First stage. Item 152. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 3, 2, 1, 0, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis on a mission to build, resupply, and to do research on the International Space Station. Houston now controlling. Atlantis begins its penultimate journey to shore up the International Space Station. Atlantis now on the proper alignment for its eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the international outpost. 30 seconds into the flight, Atlantis almost two miles in altitude, almost six miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center already, traveling 500 miles an hour. One minute, 50 seconds into the flight, 10 seconds away from solid rocket booster separation. Booster officer confirms staging a good solid rocket booster separation. Guidance now converging. Atlanta steering into the center lane of Highway 129 en route to the International Space Station. We have a go for main change start. Three engines up and ready. Three, two, one, zero. Booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery blazing a trail to scientific discoveries aboard space station. Houston Discovery, roll program. Right to roll, Discovery. This is Mission Control Houston. Space Shuttle Discovery is rolling into a heads down position, putting it on course for 51.6 degree, 136 by 36 statute line orbit, and eventually the International Space Station. Discovery is now 21 miles away from its launch pad and uh, 22 miles in altitude, traveling 2,700 miles per hour. All three main engines are working just as expected. The three fuel cells are generating power and the three auxiliary power units are all producing pressure. In short, everything performing well. Two minutes and seven seconds into the STS-131 mission. Booster officer in the Mission Control Center has confirmed the solid rocket booster separation. All systems continuing to, continuing to function well. A Titan II missile lifts from its pad. This flight down the South Atlantic target range makes history. This is the booster that will carry the Gemini space vehicle on the nation's next manned spaceflight program. What makes this test stand as a milestone is a camera that is mounted on the second stage of the booster. It has been designed to record spectacular close-ups. As the Titan nears the fringe of space, the first stage shuts down. Now, watch. The second stage ignites, and with a mighty blast, pushes the first stage away in shattered pieces. This is what an astronaut in the Gemini will see. At 17,000 miles an hour, the second stage leaves the abandoned first stage far behind as it soars 5,000 miles downrange. The curvature of the Earth is plainly visible. Through the magic of the camera, Earthlings take their first ride into space. Start, two, one, boost ignition, and liftoff of the Space Shuttle Discovery, returning to the space station, taking the way for future missions beyond. Go with throttle up, Jeremy. Throttle up, throttle up. 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 Throttle up, throttle
Discoveries on board computers commanding the main engine nozzles to swivel, aiming the shuttle for its precise target in space for main engine cutoff.